Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make almond butter at home. You can use the same method for other nuts like cashews, peanuts and hazelnuts to make your favorite nut butter at home. It's very easy to prepare and it's a very good healthy option. I like to use my own toast, homemade granola, chapatis or as a quick snack on a rice cake. Here I'm taking almonds around 500 grams and I'm going to roast them. So I'm going to preheat my oven at 180 degrees for 5 minutes. If you prefer, you can roast the nuts in a pan on stove, keeping the flame medium to low and make sure you don't burn the nuts. Placing the nuts on a baking tray lined with the aluminium foil. Spread them as a thin layer so they can get roasted evenly. I'm going to roast the nuts for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. The temperatures may vary in different models, so adjust the time accordingly. After 10 minutes, I'm checking the nuts and they're slightly underdone, so I'm going to roast the nuts for further 2 minutes. As you can see, the nuts are nicely done. I'm going to cool them back to the room temperature. Make sure to take out the nuts slightly under ton as the residue heat will cook them further while cooling down. Otherwise, they tend to burn easily. I'm going to crack open a nut and show you guys how much I roasted them. As you can see, I got a nice light golden color inside the nut. Once the nuts are at room temperature, I transfer them into a food processor and I'm going to blend them. And if you haven't got food processor, you can always do it in a blender. But make sure to add 2 tablespoons of flavorless oil like sunflower oil or vegetable oil while blending. The first stage is like a coarse almond flour. If you prefer crunchy almond butter, save a couple of tablespoons of this grossly crushed almonds aside and later add it to the almond butter. But I prefer a smooth almond butter so I'll keep continuing blending. For every couple of minutes, try to scrape the sides of the food processor jar and keep blending until the oil is extracted from the nuts. As you can see, the oil has started to release. It turns into slightly crumbly texture, but keep continuing blending. During blending, the nuts are slightly stuck inside the blade. I'm going to scrape them out and please be careful as the blades are very sharp. The almond butter is getting ready as it's turning into nice and creamy.
while blending also keep an eye on blender as it might get overheated especially if you have a less powered ones if that's the case stop blending and let the machine cool down and let continue blending the creamy almond butter is all ready now remember the more you blend the creamier it gets Look at it, I got so creamy and smooth almond butter without adding any oils unlike the ones which we get in market where few of them contain palm oil. Now I'm going to transfer almond butter into these glass jars. I prefer to store these jars in refrigerator as nut oils can get rancid quickly. The almond butter might slightly get warm while blending, so make sure to cool it down before closing the lid on these jars. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Please like and share with your friends and family. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.